Where are viruses found? Viruses lie dormant in any environment, land, soil, air, and on any material. They infect every type of cell plant, animal, bacterial, and fungal. Why was Stewart successful? Like previous investigators, he supplied the cultured cells with sugars, minerals, and vitamins. In addition, he also added a new ingredient, coconut milk. Coconut milk contains, among other things, a substance that induces cell division. Subsequent research identified this material as cytokinins. A group of plant hormones, growth regulators, that stimulate cell division. Once the cultured cells began dividing, they were transplanted on agar media. Where they formed roots and shoots and developed into plants. How many types of RNA are found in eukaryotic cells? There are five major types of RNA found in eukaryotic cells, 1. Heterogeneous nuclear RNA, HNRNA. 2. Messenger RNA, mRNA. 3. Transfer RNA. TRNA, 4, ribosomal RNA, RRNA, and 5, small nuclear RNA. The primary types of RNA are mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. Messenger RNA, a single strand copied from a DNA strand, carries the genetic code from the DNA to the site of protein synthesis on the ribosomes. The most abundant type of RNA, rRNA, participates in protein synthesis in the ribosomes. Transfer, tRNA, is the translation molecule. Each tRNA molecule carries a specific antigodon, picks up a specific amino acid, and conveys the amino acid to the appropriate codon on mRNA. What is eutrophication? Eutrophication is a process in which the supply of plant nutrients in a lake or pond is increased. In time, the result of natural eutrophication may be dry land where water once flowed. Caused by plant overgrowth, Natural fertilizers, washed from the soil. Result in an accelerated growth of plants, producing overcrowding. As the plants die off, the dead and decaying vegetation depletes the lake's oxygen supply, causing fish to die. The accumulated dead plant and animal material eventually changes a deep lake to a shallow one. Then to a swamp, and finally it becomes dry land. While the process of eutrophication is a natural one. It has been accelerated enormously by human activities. Fertilizers from farms, sewage, industrial wastes, and some detergents all contribute to the problem.
What is presbycusis? Presbycusis is the scientific name for age-related sensorineural hearing loss. The first symptom is an inability to hear sounds at the highest frequencies and can occur as early as age 20. Around age 60. There is considerable variation in how well people hear. Some have had significant loss of hearing since age 50. While others have no hearing problems into their 90s. In general, men seem to experience hearing loss more often and more severely than women. One explanation for this difference may be that men's occupations are usually associated with prolonged exposure to louder noises. What is meant by the modern era of genetics? Mendel's work was really not appreciated until advances in cytology enabled scientists to better study cells. In 1900, Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, of Holland, Karl Korins, 1864-1933, of Germany, and Erich von Tschirmich. 1871-1962, of Austria examined Mendel's original 1865 paper and repeated the experiments. In the following years chromosomes were discovered as discrete structures within the nucleus of a cell. In 1917, Thomas Hunt Morgan, 1866-1945, a fruit fly geneticist at Columbia University. Extended Mendel's findings to the structure and function of chromosomes. This and subsequent findings in the 1950s were the beginning of the modern era of genetics. Why do people burp? Burping, technically called eructation, from the Latin ructere, meaning belch, is a normal occurrence that results from an abundance of air in the stomach. Nearly a half a quart of air is typically swallowed during a meal. Much of this air is relieved as a burp or belch. How does the volume of the stomach change from when it is empty to when it is full? The inner mucous membrane of the stomach contains branching wrinkles called rugae. From the Latin, meaning folds. As the stomach fills, the rugae flatten until they almost disappear when the stomach is full. An empty stomach has a volume of only 0.05 quarts, 50 milliliters. A full stomach expands to contain 1 to 1.5 quarts. A little less than 1 to 1.5 liters of food in the process of being digested. What was the Turk? The Turk was the name for a famous chess playing automaton. An automaton, such as a robot, 
is a mechanical figure constructed to act as if it moves by its own power. On a dare in 1770, a civil servant in the Vienna Imperial Court named Wolfgang von Kempelen. 1734-1804, created a chess-playing machine. This mustached, man-sized figure carved from wood wore a turban, trousers, and robe, and sat behind a desk. In one hand it held a long Turkish pipe, implying that it had just finished a pre-game smoke. And its innards were filled with gears, pulleys, and cams. The machine seemed a keen. Chess player and dumbfounded onlookers by defeating all the best human chess players. It was a farce, however, its moves were surreptitiously made by a man hiding inside. The Turk, so dubbed because of the outfit similar to traditional Turkish garb is regarded as a forerunner to the Industrial Revolution because it created a commotion over devices that could complete complex tasks. Historians argue that it inspired people to invent other early devices such as the power loom and the telephone. And it even was a precursor to concepts such as artificial intelligence and computerization. Today, however, Computer chess games are so sophisticated that they can defeat even the world's best chess masters. In May 1997, the Deep Blue Chess Computer defeated world champion Garry Kasparov, 1963. Deep Blue was a 32 note IBM R6000 SP high performance. Computer that used Power 2 Superchip Processors, P2SC. Each node had a single microchannel card containing a dedicated VLSI. Chess processors for a total of 256 processors working in tandem. Allowing Deep Blue to calculate 100 to 200 billion chess moves within 3 minutes. How many types of herpes virus are there? There are five human herpes viruses. Herpes simplex type 1 causes recurrent cold sores and infections of the lips, mouth, and face. The virus is contagious and spreads by direct contact with the lesions or fluid from the lesions. Cold sores are usually recurrent at the same sites and occur where there is an elevated temperature at the affected site. Such as with a fever or prolonged sun exposure. Occasionally this virus may occur on the fingers with a rash of blisters. If the virus gets into the eye, it could cause conjunctivitis, or even a corneal ulcer. On rare occasions, it can spread to the brain to cause encephalitis. Herpes simplex type 2 causes genital herpes and infections acquired by babies at birth. The virus is contagious and can be transmitted by sexual intercourse. The virus produces small blisters in the genital area that burst to leave small painful ulcers. Which heal within 10 days to 3 weeks. Headache, fever, enlarged lymph nodes, and painful urination are the other symptoms. Varicella zoster. Herpes zoster, causes chicken pox and shingles. Shingles can be caused by the dormant virus in certain sensory nerves that re-emerge. With the decline of the immune system, because of age, certain diseases. 
and the use of immunosuppressants, excessive stress, or use of corticosteroid drugs. The painful rash of small blisters dry and crust over, eventually leaving small pitted scars. The rash tends to occur over the rib area or a strip on one side of the neck or lower body. Sometimes it involves the lower half of the face and can affect the eyes. Pain that can be severe and long-lasting affects about half of the sufferers and is caused by nerve damage. Epstein-Barr causes infectious mononucleosis, acute infection having high fever, sore throat, and swollen lymph glands, especially in the neck, which occurs mainly during adolescence and is associated with Burkitt's lymphoma. Malignant tumors of the jaw or abdomen that occur mainly in African children and in tropical areas. Cytomegalovirus usually results in no symptoms but enlarges the cells it infects. It can cause birth defects when a pregnant mother infects her unborn child. Three other human herpes viruses are also known, human herpes virus 6, HHV6, commonly associated with rosella, and human herpes viruses 7 and 8, HHV7 eighths, whose disease association is not yet understood. Herpes gestationis is a rare skin blister disorder occurring only in pregnancy and is not related to the herpes simplex virus. How do scientific laws differ from theories? A scientific law is a statement of how something in nature behaves which has proven to be true every time it is tested. Unlike the general usage of the term theory, which often means an educated guess. A scientific theory explains a phenomenon that is based on observation, experimentation, and reasoning. Scientific laws do not become theories. A scientific theory may explain a law, but theories do not become laws. Which planets are called inferior planets and which are superior planets? An inferior planet is one whose orbit is nearer to the Sun than Earth's orbit is. Mercury and Venus are the inferior planets. Superior planets are those whose orbits around the Sun lie beyond that of Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the superior planets. The terms have nothing to do with the quality of an individual planet. How much newspaper must be recycled to save one tree? One thirty-five to forty foot. 10.6 to 12 meter, tree produces a stack of newspapers 4 feet. 1.2 meters, thick, this much newspaper must be recycled to save a tree. Is the same strain of yeast used to make lager beers and ales? Two common strains of yeast are used to ferment beer. 
Saccharomyces carlsbergensis and Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces carlsbergensis, also known as bottom yeast, sinks to the bottom of the fermentation vat. Strains of bottom yeast ferment best at 42.8 degree F, 53.6 degree F, 6 degree 12 degree C, and take 8 to 14 days to produce lager beers. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also known as top fermenting yeast, is distributed throughout the wort and is carried to the top of the fermenting vat by the carbon dioxide. CO2. Top fermenting yeast ferment at a higher temperature, 57.2 degree F, 73.4 degree F, 14 degree 23 degree C, over only 5 to 7 days. Top fermenting yeasts produce ales, porter, and stout beers. What are the longest rivers in the world? The two longest rivers in the world are the Nile in Africa and the Amazon in South America. However, which is the longest is a matter of some debate. The Amazon has several mouths that widen toward the South Atlantic. So the exact point where the river ends is uncertain. If the Para estuary, the most distant mouth, is counted. Its length is approximately 4,195 miles, 6,750 kilometers. The length of the Nile as surveyed before the loss of a few miles of meanders due to the formation of Lake Nasser behind the Aswan Dam was 4,145 miles, 6,670 kilometers. The table below lists the five longest river systems in the world. Exact figures vary, depending on sources. Which organ is most sensitive to touch, temperature, and pain? The tongue is more sensitive to touch, temperature, and pain than any other part of the body. Which well-known star is part of the Little Dipper? The Little Dipper, part of the constellation Ursa Minor, is similar to the Big Dipper. It also has seven bright stars that form the shape of a ladle. Polaris, the North Star, is at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper. What are the four humors of the body? The four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agrigentum, 504-433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body.
ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. How have dill and anise been used throughout history? Dill, anethum gravolin, has long been used for medicinal purposes. The Egyptians used dill as a soothing medicine. Greeks habitually used the herb to cure the hiccups. During the Middle Ages dill was prized for the protection it purportedly provided against witchcraft. Magicians and alchemists used dill to concoct spells. While a commonly known wives tale stated that dill added to wine could enhance passion. Colonial settlers brought dill to North America. Where it became known as meat and seed because children were given dill seed to chew during long sermons in church. The Romans brought the licorice flavored herb, anise, Pimpinella anisum. From Egypt to Europe, where they used it as payment for their taxes. It became a popular flavoring for cakes, cookies, bread, and candy. Who proposed that the left side of the brain has different functions than the right side of the brain? Scientists have been aware for at least 100 years that each side of the brain controls actions on the opposite side of the body. However, it was not until the 1950s that Roger Sperry, 1913-1994, conducted the pioneering research to determine the different functions of the left side and right side of the brain. His experiments contributed to the split brain theory. Sperry received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1981 for his work. How are CAT or CT scans used to study the human body? CAT or CT scans, computer-assisted tomography or simply computerized tomography, are specialized X-rays that produce cross-sectional images of the body. They are used to study many parts of the body, including the chest, abdomen, and pelvis. Extremities, arms and legs, and internal organs, such as pancreas, liver, gallbladder, and kidneys. CT scans of the head and brain may detect an abnormal mass or growth. Stroke damage, area of bleeding, or blood vessel abnormality. Patients complaining of pain may have a CT scan to determine the source of the pain. Sometimes a CT scan will be used to further investigate an abnormality found on a regular X-ray. Dr. Alan M. Cormack, 1924-1998, and Godfrey N. Hounsfield, 1919-2004. Independently discovered and developed computer-assisted tomography in the early 1970s. They shared the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their research. Where is the circle of fire?
The belt of volcanoes bordering the Pacific Ocean is often called the Circle of Fire or the Ring of Fire. Earth's crust is composed of 15 pieces, called plates, which float on the partially molten layer below them. Most volcanoes, earthquakes, and mountain building occur along the unstable plate boundaries. The circle of fire marks the boundary between the plate. Underlying the Pacific Ocean and the surrounding plates. It runs up the west coast of the Americas from Chile to Alaska, through the Andes Mountains. Central America, Mexico, California, the Cascade Mountains, and the Aleutian Islands. Then down the east coast of Asia from Siberia to New Zealand, through Kamchatka, the Kuril Islands, Japan. The Philippines, Celebs, New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, and New Zealand. Of the 850 active volcanoes in the world, over 75% of them are part of the Circle of Fire. When did aluminum recycling begin? Aluminum recycling dates back to 1888 when the smelting process was invented. Since aluminum is so valuable, companies involved in manufacturing aluminum were motivated to discover ways to make aluminum from aluminum. Recycling aluminum saves 95% of the energy required to Make new aluminum since it eliminates the mining of new ore. It is estimated that 73% of all aluminum ever produced is still in use. What are two of the most common forms of dementia? The term dementia describes a group of symptoms that are caused by changes in brain function. The two most common forms of dementia in older people are Alzheimer's disease and multi-infarct dementia. Sometimes called vascular dementia. There is no cure for these types of dementia. In Alzheimer's disease nerve cell changes in certain parts of the brain result in the death of a large number of cells. Some researchers believe there is a genetic origin to Alzheimer's disease. An estimated 5.3 million Americans of all ages have Alzheimer's. It is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States and was reported as the cause of Death for 74,632 people in 2007. The symptoms of Alzheimer's disease range from mild forgetfulness to serious impairments in thinking, judgment, and the ability to perform daily activities. In multi-infarct dementia a series of small strokes or changes in the brain's blood supply may result in the death of brain tissue. The location in the brain where the small strokes occur determines the seriousness of the problem and the symptoms that arise. Symptoms that begin suddenly may be a sign of this kind of dementia. People with multi-infarct dementia are likely to show signs of improvement or remain stable for long periods of time. Then quickly develop new symptoms if more strokes occur. In many people with multi-infarct dementia, high blood pressure is to blame.
How are fossils formed? Fossils are the remains of animals or plants that were preserved in rock before the beginning of recorded history. It is unusual for complete organisms to be preserved, fossils usually represent the hard parts of animals, such as bones or shells, and leaves, seeds, or woody parts of plants. Some fossils are simply the bones, teeth, or shells themselves, which can be preserved for a relatively short period of time. How did scientists decide that DNA was the genetic material for all cellular organisms? The proof that the material basis for a gene is DNA came from the work of Oswald T. Avery, 1877-1955, Colin M. McLeod, 1909-1972, and Mocklin McCarty. 1911-2005, in a paper published in 1944. This group of scientists followed the work of Frederick Griffith. 1879 to 1941, in order to discover what causes non-lethal bacteria to transform to a lethal strain. Using specific enzymes, all parts of the S, lethal, bacteria were degraded. Including the sugar-like coat, the proteins, and the RNA. The degradation of these substances by enzymes did not affect the transformation process. Finally, when the lethal bacteria were exposed to DNase, an enzyme that destroys DNA, all transformation activity ceased. The transforming factor was DNA. Which species have become extinct since the Endangered Species Act was passed in 1973? Nine domestic species have become extinct. What plants can be used to determine blood type? Lectins proteins that bind to carbohydrates on cell surfaces found in lotus plants. As well as jack and lima beans can be used to determine a person's blood type. Lectins bind to glycoproteins present on the plasma membrane of red blood cells. Because the cells of different blood types have distinct glycoproteins. Cells of each blood type bind to a specific lectin. When was a symbol for the concept of zero first used? Surprisingly, the symbol for zero emerged later than the concept for the other numbers. Although the Babylonians, 600 BCE and earlier, had a symbol for zero. It was merely a placeholder and not used for computational purposes. The ancient Greeks conceived of logic and geometry. Concepts providing the foundation for all mathematics, yet they never had a symbol for zero. 
the Maya also had a symbol for zero as a placeholder in the 4th century. But they also did not use zero in computations. Hindu mathematicians are usually given credit for developing a symbol for the concept zero. They recognized zero as representing the absence of quantity and developed its use in mathematical calculations. It appears in an inscription at Gwalior dated 870 CE. However, it is found even earlier than that in inscriptions dating from the 7th century in Cambodia, Sumatra, and Banka Island, off the coast of Sumatra. Although there is no documented evidence in printed material for the zero in China before 1247, some historians maintain that there was a blank space on the Chinese counting board. Representing zero, as early as the 4th century BCE. Why does blood in the veins look blue? Since venous blood is oxygen-poor blood, it is not as bright red as arterial blood. It appears as a deep, dark red, almost purplish color. Seeing blue blood in veins through the skin is a combination of light passing through the skin and the oxygen-poor blood. What has been the impact of zebra mussels on North American waterways? Zebra mussels, Dryasina polymorpha, are black and white striped bivalve mollusks. They are hard-shelled species that adhere to hard surfaces with bissel threads. They were probably introduced to North America in 1985 or 1986 via a discharge of a foreign ship's ballast water into Lake St. Clair. They have spread throughout the Great Lakes, the Mississippi River, and as far east as the Hudson River. High densities of zebra mussels have been found in the intakes pipes, and heat exchangers of waterways throughout the world. They can clog the water intakes of power plants, industrial sites, and public drinking water systems. Foul boat hulls and engine cooling water systems. And disrupt aquatic ecosystems. Water processing facilities must be cleaned manually to rid the systems of the mussels. Zebra mussels are a threat to surface water resources because they reproduce quickly. Have free swimming larvae and rapid growth, lack competitors for space or food, and have no predators. What is a Chinook? A Chinook is a wind that is generally warm and originates from the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains. It often moves from the southwest in a downslope manner, causing a noticeable rise in temperature that helps to warm the plains just east of the Rocky Mountains. The Chinook is classified as a catabatic wind. A catabatic wind develops because of cold heavy air spilling down sloping terrain. Moving the lighter, warmer air in front of it. The air is dried and heated as it streams down the slope. 
At times the falling air becomes warmer than the air it restores. Some katabatic winds have been interestingly named, like Taku. A frigid wind in Alaska, or Santa Ana, a warmer wind from the Sierras. How many of the medications used today are derived from plants? Of the more than 250,000 known plant species, less than 1% have been thoroughly tested for medical applications. Yet out of this tiny portion have come 25% of our prescription medicines. The U.S. National Cancer Institute has identified three. 000 plants from which anti-cancer drugs are or can be made. This includes ginseng, Panax quinquefolius, Asian mayapple, Podophyllum hexandrum. Western U. Taxus brevifolia, and rosy periwinkle. 70% of these 3,000 come from rainforests, which also are a source of countless other drugs for diseases and infections. Rainforest plants are rich in so called secondary metabolites, particularly alkaloids which biochemists believe the plants produce to protect them from disease and insect attack. However, with the current rate of rainforest destruction, raw materials for future medicines are certainly being lost. Also, as tribal groups disappear, their knowledge of the properties and uses of these plant species will be lost. Why are essential oils called essential? Called essential oils because of their ease of solubility in alcohol to form essences. Essential oils are used in flavorings, perfumes, disinfectants, medicine, and other products. They are naturally occurring volatile aromatic oils found in uncombined forms within various parts of plants, such as leaves and pods. These oils contain as one of their main ingredients a substance belonging to the terpene group. Examples of essential oils include bergamot, eucalyptus, ginger, pine, spearmint, and wintergreen oils. Extracted by distillation or enfleurage, extraction using fat, and mechanical pressing, these oils can now be made synthetically. What is Gigo? GIGO is not a computer language despite its similarity to the names of computer languages. Instead it is an acronym for the truism that one gets out of something what one puts into it. GIGO stands for the phrase garbage in, garbage out. The phrase means that a program working with imprecise data produces imprecise results. Where is the deepest cave in the world? The Krubra, Voronya, cave in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia is the deepest known cave in the world. 
its greatest depth is 7,188 feet, 2,191 meters. Which direction does a compass needle point at the North Pole? At the North Magnetic Pole, the compass needle would be attracted by the ground and point straight down. When did Mount St. Helens erupt? Mount St. Helens, located in southwestern Washington state in the Cascades mountain range. Erupted on May 18, 1980. 61 people died as a result of the eruption. This was the first known eruption in the 48 contiguous United States to claim a human. Life. Geologists call Mount St. Helens a composite volcano, a steep-sided, often symmetrical cone constructed of alternating layers of lava flows, ash, and other volcanic debris. Composite volcanoes tend to erupt explosively. Mount St. Helens and the other active volcanoes in the Cascade Mountains are a part of the Ring of Fire. The Pacific Zone having frequent and destructive volcanic activity. M.T. St. Helens erupted. Again in October 2004. A steam plume billowed 10,000 feet, 3,048 meters, into the air. The eruption continued for 2.5 years building a new lava dome. The new lava dome measured about 125 million cubic yards, 95.6 million cubic meters. Or a volume equal to nearly 200 large sports stadiums. The amount of lava that erupted would have been enough to pave seven highway lanes. 3 feet, 0.9 meter, thick, from New York City to Portland, Oregon. There was no loss of life during this eruptive period. Volcanoes have not only been active in Washington, but also in three other U.S. states. California, Alaska, and Hawaii. Lassen Peak is one of several volcanoes in the Cascade Range. It last erupted in 1921. Mount Katmai in Alaska had an eruption in 1912 in which the flood of hot ash formed the valley of 10,000 smokes 15 miles, 24 kilometers, away. And Hawaii has its famed Mauna Loa, which is the world's largest active volcano. Being 60 miles, 97 kilometers, in width at its base. What conditions are necessary for seed germination? NCE the seed is protected and enclosed in a seed coat, it ceases further development and becomes dormant. Seeds remain dormant until the optimum conditions of temperature. Oxygen and moisture are available for germination and further development. In addition to these external factors, some seeds undergo a series of enzymatic and biochemical changes prior to germination.
What are the major groups of segmented worms? Members of the phylum Anlida, the segmented worms have bilateral symmetry and a tubular body that may have 100 to 175 ring-like segments. The three classes of segmented worms are, 1, polychaeta, the sandworms, and tube worms. 2, oligochaeta, the earthworms, and 3, hirudinia, the leeches. How does complementary medicine differ from alternative medicine? Complementary medicine is used together with conventional medicine. An example of complementary medicine is using aromatherapy following conventional surgery. Alternative medicine is used in place of conventional medicine. One example of alternative medicine is treating cancer with a special diet instead of surgery. Radiation, and slash or chemotherapy. Integrated or integrative medicine combines treatments from conventional medicine with CAM therapies and techniques for which there is evidence of safety and effectiveness. Which planets are visible to the naked eye? Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn are visible with the naked eye at varying times of the year. What does it mean to boot a computer? Booting a computer is starting it in the sense of turning control over to the operating system. The term comes from bootstrap. Because bootstraps allow an individual to pull on boots without help from anyone else. Some people prefer to think of the process in terms of using bootstraps to lift oneself off the ground. Impossible in the physical sense, but a reasonable image for representing. The process of searching for the operating system, loading it, and passing control to it. The commands to do this are embedded in a read-only memory, ROM. Chip that is automatically executed when a microcomputer is turned on or reset. In mainframe or mini computers, the process usually involves a great deal of operator input. A cold boot powers on the computer and passes control to the operating system. A warm boot resets the operating system without powering off the computer. What are the functions of the nervous system? The nervous system is one of the major regulatory systems of the body maintaining homeostasis. Its functions are to, 1, monitor the body's internal and external environments, 2, integrate sensory information and 3, direct or coordinate the responses of other organ systems to the sensory input.
What was the first important scientific society in the United States? The first significant scientific society in the United States was the American Philosophical Society. Organized in 1743 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, by Benjamin Franklin, 1706-1790. During colonial times, the quest to understand nature and seek. Information about the natural world was called natural philosophy. Which chemical is used in greater quantities than any other? Sodium chloride, NaCl, or salt has over 14,000 uses and is probably used in greater quantities and for more applications than any other chemical. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. What are the advantages of solar power? Solar energy is a clean, abundant, and safe energy source. More energy falls from the sun on earth in one hour than is used by everyone in the world in one year. Over a two-week period, Earth gets as much energy from the sun as is stored in all known reserves of coal, oil, and natural gas. Solar energy can be used to heat water and spaces for homes and businesses or can be converted into electricity. Solar energy accounts for only about 1% of the total renewable energy resources. What is solder? Solder is an alloy of two or more metals used for joining other metals together. One example of solder is half and half composed of equal parts of lead and tin. Other metals used in solder are aluminum, cadmium, zinc. Nickel, gold, silver, palladium, bismuth, copper, and antimony. Various melting points to suit the work are obtained by varying the proportions of the metals. Solder is an ancient joining method, mentioned in the Bible, Isaiah 41,7. There is evidence of its use in Mesopotamia some 5,000 years ago, and later in Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Use of numerous types of solder is currently wide and varied, and future use looks bright as well. As long as circuitry based on electrical and magnetic impulses and composed of a combination of conductors, semiconductors, and insulators continues to be in use solder will remain indispensable.
How is a heating degree day defined? Early in the 21st century engineers developed the concept of heating degree days as a useful index of heating fuel requirements. They found that when the daily mean temperature is lower than 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, most buildings require heat to maintain a 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius temperature. Each degree of mean temperature below 65 degrees Fahrenheit 18 degrees Celsius is counted as one heating degree day. For every additional heating degree day, more fuel is needed to maintain a 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius indoor temperature. For example, a day with a mean temperature of 35 degrees Fahrenheit 1.5 degrees Celsius would be rated as 30 heating degree days and would require twice as much fuel as a day with a mean temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, 15 heating degree days. The heating degree concept has become a valuable tool for fuel companies. For evaluation of fuel use rates and efficient scheduling of deliveries. Detailed daily, monthly and seasonal totals are routinely computed for the stations of the National Weather Service. What is the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion? Nuclear fission is the splitting of an atomic nucleus into at least two fragments. Nuclear fusion is a nuclear reaction in which the nuclei of atoms of low atomic number, such as hydrogen and helium, fuse to form a heavier nucleus. Although in both nuclear fission and nuclear fusion substantial amounts of energy are produced, the amount of energy produced in fusion is far greater than the amount of energy produced in fission. What is the prime meridian? The north-south lines on a map run from the North Pole to the South Pole and are called meridians. The word meridian means noon, when it is noon on one place on the line. It is noon at any other point as well. The lines are used to measure longitudes, or how far east or west a particular place might be. And they are 69 miles. 111 kilometers apart at the equator. The east-west lines are called parallels, and, unlike meridians, are all parallel to each other. They measure latitude, or how far north or south a particular place might be. There are 180 lines circling the Earth, one for each degree of latitude. The degrees of both latitude and longitude are divided into 60 minutes, which are then further divided into 60 seconds each. The prime meridian is the meridian of zero degrees longitude, used as the origin for measurement of longitude. The meridian of Greenwich, England, is used almost universally for this purpose. What is El Nino?
El Nino is the unusual warming of the surface waters of large parts of the tropical Pacific Ocean. Occurring around Christmas time, it is named after the Christ child. El Nino occurs erratically every three to seven years. It brings heavy rains and flooding to Peru, Ecuador, and Southern California. And a milder winter with less snow to the northeastern United States. Studies reveal that El Nino is not an isolated occurrence. But is instead part of a pattern of change in the global circulation of the oceans and atmosphere. The 1982-1983 El Nino was one of the most severe climate events of the 20th century in both its geographical extent as well as in the degree of warming, 14 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 degrees Celsius. What is Web 2? Web 2.0 is not a new version of the World Wide Web, but rather a collection of new technologies that changes the way users interact with the web. When Tim Berners-Lee, 1955, created the World Wide Web it was a repository of information with static content and users were generally unable to easily change or add to the content they were viewing. Newer technologies allow users to contribute to the internet with blogs, wikis, and social networking sites. A further distinction of Web 2.0 is cloud computing where data and applications, apps, are stored on web servers, rather than on individual computers. Allowing users to access their documents, files, and data from any computer with a web browser. Apps include many products, such as word processing and spreadsheets, that were traditionally found in software packages. When should a fluorescent light be turned off to save energy? Fluorescent lights use a lot of electric current getting started. And frequently switching the light on and off will shorten the lamp's life and efficiency. It is energy efficient to turn off a fluorescent light only if it will not be used again within 15 minutes. What is the modified Merck Alley scale? The modified Merck Alley scale is a means of measuring the INTE CD of an earthquake. Unlike the Richter scale, which uses mathematical calculation to measure seismic waves, the modified Merck Alley scale uses the effects of an earthquake on the people and structures in a given area to determine its intensity. It was invented by Giuseppe Mercalli, 1850 to 1914, in 1902 and modified by Harry Wood, 1879 to 1958. And Frank Newman in the 1930s to take into consideration such modern inventions as the automobile and the skyscraper. The modified Mercalli scale only felt by a few under especially favorable circumstances. Felt only by a few sleeping persons, particularly on upper floors of buildings. Some suspended objects may swing.
felt quite noticeably indoors. Especially on upper floors of buildings, but may not be recognized as an earthquake. Standing automobiles may rock slightly. Vibration like passing of truck. During the day felt indoors by many. Outdoors by few. At night some awakened. Dishes, windows, doors disturbed, walls make creaking sound. Sensation like heavy truck striking building. Standing automobiles rocked noticeably. Felt by nearly everyone, many awakened. Some dishes, windows, and so on broken, cracked plaster in a few places, unstable objects overturned. Disturbances of trees, poles, and other tall objects sometimes noticed. Pendulum clocks may stop. Felt by all, many frightened and run outdoors. Some heavy furniture moved, a few instances of fallen plaster and damaged chimneys. Damage slight. Everybody runs outdoors. Damage negligible in buildings of good design and construction. Slight to moderate in well-built ordinary structures, considerable in poorly built or badly designed structures. Some chimneys broken. Noticed by persons driving cars. Damage slight in specially designed structures. Considerable in ordinary substantial buildings with partial collapse, great in poorly built structures. Panel walls thrown out of frame structures. Fall of chimneys, factory stacks, columns, monuments, walls. Heavy furniture overturned. Sand and mud ejected in small amounts. Changes in well water. Persons driving cars disturbed. Damage considerable in specially designed structures. Well designed frame structures thrown out of plumb. Great in substantial buildings, with partial collapse. Building shifted off foundations. Ground cracked. Conspicuously. Underground pipes broken. Some well built wooden structures destroyed. Most masonry and frame structures destroyed with foundations, ground badly cracked. Rails bent. Landslides considerable. From river banks and steel slopes. Shifted sand and mud. Water splashed, slopped over banks. Few, if any, masonry, structures remain standing. Bridges destroyed. Broad fissures in ground. Underground pipelines completely out of service. Earth slumps and land slips in soft ground. Rails bent greatly. Damage total. Waves. Seen on ground surface. Lines of sight and level distorted. Objects thrown into the air. What are the specialized cells in plants? All plant cells have several common features, such as chloroplasts, a cell wall, and a large vacuole. In addition, a number of specialized cells are found only in vascular plants. They include, parenchyma cells parenchyma, from the Greek para, meaning beside, and an enchine. Meaning to pour in, cells are the most common cells found in leaves, stems, and roots. They are often spherical in shape with only primary cell walls. 
parenchyma cells play a role in food storage, photosynthesis, and aerobic respiration. They are living cells at maturity. Most nutrients in plants, such as corn and potatoes are contained in starch-laden parenchyma cells. These cells comprise the photosynthetic tissue of a leaf, the flesh of fruit, and the storage tissue of roots and seeds. Calenchyma cells Calenchyma, from the Greek term kola, meaning glue. Cells have thickened primary cell walls and lack secondary cell walls. They form strands or continuous cylinders just below the surfaces of stems or leaf stalks. The most common function of calenchyma cells is to provide support. For parts of the plant that are still growing, such as the stem. Similar to parenchyma cells, calenchyma cells are living cells once they reach maturity. Sclerenchyma cells Sclerenchyma, from the Greek term sclerose. Meaning hard, cells have tough, rigid, thick secondary cell walls. These secondary cell walls are hardened with lignin, which is the main chemical component of wood. It makes the cell walls more rigid. Sclerenchyma cells provide rigid support for the plant. There are two types of sclerenchyma cells fiber and scleriod. Fiber cells are long, slender cells that usually form strands or bundles. Scleriod cells, sometimes called stone cells, occur singly or in groups and have various forms. They have a thick, very hard secondary cell wall. Most sclerenchyma cells are dead once they reach maturity. Xylem xylem, from the Greek term xylos, meaning wood, is the main water conducting tissue of plants and consists of dead, hollow, tubular cells arranged end to end. The water transported in xylem replaces that lost via evaporation through stomata. The two types of water conducting cells are tracheides and vessel elements. Water flows from the roots of a plant up through the shoot via pits in the secondary walls of the tracheides. Vessel elements have perforations in their end walls to allow the water to flow between cells. Phloem The two kinds of cells in the food conducting tissue of plants, the phloem. From the Greek term phloios, meaning bark, are sieve cells and sieve to be members. Sieve cells are found in seedless vascular plants and gymnosperms. While sieve tube members are found in angiosperms. Both types of cells are elongated, slender. Tube like cells arranged end to end with clusters of pores at each cell junction. Sugars, especially sucrose, other compounds, and some mineral ions move between adjacent food conducting cells. Sieve tube members have thin primary cell walls but lack secondary cell walls. They are alive once they reach maturity. Epidermis Several types of specialized cells occur in the epidermis including guard cells, trichomes, and root hairs. Flattened epidermal cells, one layer thick and coated by a thick layer of cuticle. Cover all parts of the primary plant body. What was the first element to be discovered?
Phosphorus was first discovered by German chemist Hennig Brand, c. 1630 c. 1710, in 1669 when he extracted a waxy white substance from urine that glowed in the dark. But Brand did not publish his findings. In 1680, phosphorus was rediscovered by the English chemist Robert Boyle. What are the four CS of diamonds? The four CS are cut, color, clarity, and carrot. Cut refers to the proportions, finish, symmetry, and polish of the diamond. These factors determine the brilliance of a diamond. Color describes the amount of color the diamond contains. Color ranges from colorless to yellow with tints of yellow, gray, or brown. Colors can also range from intense yellow to the more rare blue, green, pink, and red. Clarity describes the cleanness or purity of a diamond. As determined by the number and size of imperfections. Carat is the weight of the diamond. Who first used fingerprints as a means of identification? It is generally acknowledged that Francis Galton, 1822-1911, was the first to classify fingerprints. However, his basic ideas were further developed by Sir Edward Henry. 1850 to 1931, who devised a system based on the pattern of the thumbprint. In 1901 in England, Henry established the first fingerprint. Bureau with Scotland Yard called the fingerprint branch. Are cell phones dangerous to your health? Scientific research has failed to show an association between exposure to radio frequency, energy from a cell phone and health problems. The results of one of the largest studies Released in 2010, of the health effects of cell phone usage found there was little or no health risk. Including the development of brain tumors, from cell phone use. 